Banner Children's, we've got pediatric care covered for Arizona families. You would be sitting there and all of a sudden a little arm jerk, an arm jerk, an arm jerk, arm jerk, and or leg jerk or kind of thing like this. And it was very mild at first. Um, there wasn't any rhyme or reason to it. He could be doing it sitting up, he could be doing it laying down. You're left helpless. You're watching your child go from normal, normal C to, um, <clears throat> to seeing them lay on the floor for hours at a time. And it's a little emotional. supposed to see you. I'm supposed to save him and I'm not. I woke up, it was about four in the morning and I heard sounds. I heard the ticks, I heard the noises and I heard the movements of his bed. And I ran in and he was in full movement and he's slamming his head against the wall because he can't hold his body and um, I asked him and he said I couldn't say your name so I put my face as close as I could to the baby monitor and hope that you could hear and it had been going on for two hours all I could do and my husband could do is scoop him up and just put him in the car and run here and hope that somebody can help us there was a time where I thought that there wasn't a treatment and I was kind of scared, but then I, um, my doctor came up with the solution for my problems. So Sydenham's is essentially a sign of rheumatic fever, acute rheumatic fever. It's caused by strep and um, Basically, the strep antibodies um, that are supposed to, we have antibodies that fight our body. In Sydenham's, um, the antibodies kind of go crazy and start attacking yourself. So in my son's case, it attacked his brain and damaged part of his brain. So it's an autoimmune type thing. Those antibodies, and we see this in other things, where they're attacking his own body. And so those antibodies are in that plasma, and so we want to get that plasma out where those antibodies that are attacking him are, are there. And that gave me such a big sigh of relief, and I just felt so much better. You know, at the beginning he told you he went every day for a few times and then it was three times a week. We're now to once a week. We're going to start stretching that out to every other week and hoping that his body will quit making those antibodies that are attacking his system. The other day in the car, Dylan randomly told me, you know what a real doctor is? He goes, a real doctor is someone who stops and listens to kids. Someone who doesn't make assumptions and blows them off. But someone who looks and looks until they find the answer to each kid's problem. That, to me, is a real doctor. There's been many times my husband have, and I have felt how lucky we are to be able to be in a place with this technology and, and to be at Cardin's where there's such love and understanding for our child. Mm -hmm.